hello you're welcome back to my youtube channel my name is olivia how are you doing today and hope you're staying safe if you are new to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video i post new videos every wednesdays and saturdays and this channel is about fashion tutorials lifestyle and diy so if you are a returning subscriber I'm really grateful. I say thank you so much for always coming back. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing us how to make this beautiful, stylish um, bubble gown. Um, it's actually very easy and very simple, but very beautiful. So let's get started. Um, so this is the fabric we're going to be working with. It's about I think 3.5 yards in total um, Okay, I think I have more but you can use 3.5 yards for yours um, This is the fabric you can see how beautiful it's looking um, You can see this fabric has a pattern it has a pattern so when working with any fabric the first thing you should consider is the pattern on that fabric okay arranging your patterns will actually help you to have a good and neat finishing all right so i haven't taken note of the pattern okay so the next thing we're going to do now is to you know determine the length of our gun so for this person the full length is 58 inches okay so to so determine the quantity of fabrics needed we're going to open up the fabric and measure our full length plus seam allowance okay so just measure your full length and add your seam allowance so that's what i'm just going to measure out right now so my full length is 58 inches i'm going to be adding two inches for seam allowance that's going to give me 60 inches so here i have my 60 inches the next thing you want to do is to fold it into two that's wrong side facing each other not right side facing each other okay let me fold this off camera so now i've folded it into two i've folded it into two the next thing I'm going to do is to fold again into four since I'm using the entire length of the fabric so I don't need to bother about uh, measurements for the sleeve okay so now I'm just going to fold it again making it four folds right or two folds rather and four pieces all right so I just folded again making it four and i'm going to be making use of the entire length of this fabric so i don't need to bother about the length of the sleeve okay so hope you can see the middle patterns are matching good please put that into consideration okay so um this is the sleeve length i'm using the entire length of the fabric like i said earlier so i would have wanted it to be longer but for the sake of what i have i'm just going to use it like that but for yours you can just measure from the midpoint of your neck down to where you want it to stop okay so now i'm imputing my vertical measurements shoulder to bust shoulder to waist shoulder to hip and then you have the hemline okay so you just mark your vertical measurements all right so my shoulder to waist is 16.5 inches i'm just going to be adding extra half inch um for joining of the shoulder which is um 16 and 17 inches and shoulder to hip 25.5 i'm going to mark 26 um and then i we'll have the hem line okay so that is that I have my 60 inches and then I'm going to be cutting off the excess fabric, alright?
So now on the bust line, um, you're going to impute your bust measurement. Bust measurement divided by four plus half inch four is okay. So my bust measurement is 42 inches divided by four. I have 10.5. I'm just going to mark that right now and then add half inch for ease. All right. And then on the waistline, on the waist, I have 32 inches, 32 inches divided by four. I have eight plus one inch. On the waistline, I add one inch for ease. All right. That is for the waist. You add one inch for ease, please. And then on the hip, hip measurement divided by four. So for my hip, I have 46 inches, right? Divided by four. I'm just going to mark it right, 11.5 inches. And then I'm going to be adding, I added half inch to the hip, please. Half inch to the hip for ease. One inch to the waist, half inch to the bust for ease allowance. Um, when making a booboo dress like this, I like to just make it shapeful, you know, give it a little bit of shape and not just um, making it straight. I give it shape so that when you wear it, you know, it can see the difference, right? Okay. Um, so on the hemline, what you do, whatever you have on your hip measurement, you're just going to add like half inch or one inch to it, okay? And then you come up by 9 to 10 inches and mark it there. That's where your sewing is going to stop. You stop sewing from 9 inches to the hem or 10 inches so that the person can walk freely, all right? So when I come up, by nine inches i marked my uh, hip measurement plus extra half inch okay and then connect with the straight ruler believe me if you make your bubble gun um this way like using your measurements it's going to be fitted and beautiful more fit gives more fitting than the ones you just draw a straight line using the biggest measurements oh. I think this is better so now the next thing I'm going to be doing is to um, mark my neck measurements right so the neck width I'm going to be using um, is 12 inches um, you can actually use um, 13 inches okay let's go with 13 so we divide that by 2 and we have 6.5 6 right and then you're going to determine the um, joining on the shoulder. Remember, it's an open slit. Uh, it's a shoulder slit. So we're just going to be closing up um, the center of the shoulder of the sleeve, right? So this center part is going to be open. And then there is not going to be any curve there. We are not making any curves, no neck curve. We're just going to do notching, okay? Just notch the midpoint, notch where your shoulder stops, where your neck width stops, okay? And then you're going to be marking where your um, shoulder, the place you're going to be sewing up. Um, we have six inches there. You're just going to notch it. That is all. And then we're going to open up. Um, that shoulder line um, mind you we're not doing any shoulder slope we're not making any shoulder slope for this okay because it's a bold neckline it's just going to be straight So 
so now we have a slit open before we go over to the sewing machine to sew we're going to mark out our measurements on the other side and the easiest way to do that is to pin alongside the key points that's the vertical measurements the points um the shoulder to bust shoulder to waist um those points you just pin them like so just the way i'm doing and after that um we're going to just turn it over to the other side and then take our ruler and our chalk you know mark out those lines using the pins you know the pin, the pin is just going to act as a guideline so you just connect those lines or those points rather Just connect them and make sure your waist is curved, it's not pointed, it's not sharp. Okay, and then we're going to remove the pins. After removing the pin, you can now open up your fabric and then you're going to place them right sides facing each other. If you haven't subscribed, please do that now. I beg you, please subscribe to this channel, okay? So we're going to be joining the shoulders. We're going to be joining the shoulders following our notches okay remember the notches and when you join when you put them right side facing each other please ensure that the notches are matching please okay so for now we're just going to be sewing the six inches on the shoulder the place that is going to be closed that's just the only place we're going to be sewing the six inches. We we'll sew on both sides, so from the left. After that, we we'll turn over to the right, and then we sew. Remember, this is our center notch. We're not going to be sewing there, so you just sew the other side. Okay, six inches. So. I'll go over to my sewing machine, join, and then show you how it looks. So as you can see, I've joined the two shoulders on the six inches we mapped out. So you can see it's very neat. Um, you can use um 0.75 inches. You can use half inch. Okay. So I'm going to turn it out. Okay. Hope you see see the neckline this is the closed part and this is the slits okay so uh, if you have more fabrics you can make the length that that's the sleeve length you can make it longer than this okay so i'm going to turn it out so you see how to do so now you're going to just fold starting from the slits on the shoulder you're going to fold you're going to fold um when you get to the place we just sewed you're just going to open it up maybe you can use your iron to press it open and then you're going to fold it to the other side like so and then when you get to the neck the center you just keep on folding the same way all the way down just going to fold all the way down you do this on one side and do it on the other side too okay and when you're done folding the shoulders you turn it over to the sides and you hem the sides too 
after hemming the sides you hem the hemline the downside so you're just going to hem around okay okay just do that all around i've finished hemming i'm done with all the folds all the hemming and all that hope you can see how neat it's looking yeah it's very neat hope you can see that that's the right side hope you can see and then on the wrong side see how it is um i think it's really neat right it's really very right. this is our neck and this is the sleeves and then on the inside of the shoulder the place will closed up that's it see how it looks very neat it's one thing to know how to sew it's another thing to sew neatly yeah please make sure you always sew neatly let your work be neat all right So the next thing we are going to do is to put it together, place it how it's supposed to be, okay, after putting it together you arrange it on the right side and then you might need to pin this down because we are going to be sewing up the side, so you need to pin it down so that when you are sewing it doesn't um, shift, okay. Because if you have it shifted, um, the shape of your gun is going to be somehow, alright? So just pin that down so you can be able to sew it. I hope you remember our markings, um, our measurements. So you're just going to be sewing alongside those measurements. If you're just going to sew alongside that line, that's all. Um, this is it. See how beautiful it is. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.